We have 3,100 turns of 20 gauge uh, in this winding and this winding. Um, and the output windings are uh, 350 turns of 10 gauge. Uh, the new design, <coughs> we have a new design. Uh, well, before I go into that, uh, the way the core is built, uh, we have uh, two, two layers of mica tape on the bare steel, and then there's a, a third layer of uh, mylar tape that has a very good cut through resistance. Um, over the mica tape, and that's that on the bare steel core. Um, and then there are plates made of 30, 30 thousandths thick mica plate um, covering each of the pole pieces on both sides where the wire is in contact with the pole piece. Uh, there's, there's mica plates on each of the four uh, faces of the pole pieces. Um, and then the outer wrap is just, uh, this is just fiberglass tape uh, to protect the outside of the wire. Um, we have a, this was the only the third one that was built this way. Um, and at this point, we changed the insulation system. Uh, the, ne the next cores that are built will have bobbins, actual uh, a two-piece clamshell plastic bobbin that will cover the steel. Um, and they, they're made to fit snugly right into the corners between the, the, the pole pieces and the, and the main core. Uh, and we'll still have the mica plates, but they'll be sitting on top of the bobbin in the corners. And then uh, the wire will be wrapped on the bobbins. Um, and then they're going to do a vacuum epoxy impregnation where the, the uh, well, they're going to add a boot to cover the, after the wire is put on the bobbin, there will be a boot put on uh, and the boot will be filled with epoxy. Uh, and then they do a vacuum impregnation where they'll pull the air out and cause the epoxy to go right into the windings um, and, and fill uh, for additional insulation. Um, uh, there, I'm told that uh, that will double the, the insulation capacity. Uh, well, what we have to do here is, is uh, to try to hold off up to 25,000 volts. Um, so the, the new system, I'm sure, will be better. Uh, this one, I don't know how, how far we'll be able to go uh, before we could possibly get some arcing. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is, when the, when the high voltage windings are operating, uh, we're gonna we're gonna put a spark gap across the uh, across the primary circuit so that uh, if we do get an arc, it'll be external to the core, and we and that way we can protect the windings uh, from from shorting out. We had uh, uh, we had a, a spark plug uh, initially and couldn't get the gap wide enough, so I think. Uh, probably we'll do a, a linear, we just set up a couple of pieces of wire across the capacitors to uh, so that if it's going to arc it will be outside and we'll adjust the gap for whatever we decide will be the, the maximum voltage. Um, what I'm doing now is just uh, the mica plates that were on here were sticking out a little bit. Uh, these, these eight surfaces have to be flush so, that, so the end plates will fit tightly up against the, the core. So I'm just, uh, I've just been trimming this to make sure that the mica is not, uh, not sticking out uh, above the surface of the spacers here. And then we will uh, we'll use the core itself to lay out the hole pattern and uh, and we'll drill the end plates, drill holes in the end plates to, to mount the, uh, the core onto the end plates. So, just trim this off of here. Um, you want to cut there for a moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs>